What's up, you guys? So I am back with a new video. In this video, we're talking about Married to Medicine, specifically Dr. Heavenly, Dentist the Menace, according to Sweet Tea. <laughs> And we're talking about what she said about Dr. G. Dr. Heavenly went in on Sweet Tea and Dr. G. So we're going to get into that in this video. And we're going to get into the fashion. The fashion from the Married to Medicine reunion. Are you guys so i want to start with dr heavily dentist the menace <laughs> i love dr heavily i feel like she'll probably embrace that title i can see her with a website dentist the menace sweet tea call her dentist the menace because the two of them have been going back and forth on social media so let's get into that let's start with that and then we'll get into the fashion now this was captured by the Neighborhood Talk. Shout out to Kyle Anthony from the Neighborhood Talk. Some of these tweets have since been deleted, but he did capture them. And so on the finale of Married to Medicine, Sweet Tea tweeted about a gala they attended. And at the gala, I believe Dr. Heavenly called out Toya for like not contributing cash to the gala. And she said it was tacky and ghetto to announce that at a medical gala. This is why she isn't respected in the medical community. I had secondhand embarrassment from Dentist the Menace. And so Dr. Heavenly responded. Of course she responded. She responded to that and said, Dr. G is not respected in the community. And that's real talk. Hashtag A-B-U-S-E-R. Hashtag controlling. Hashtag, in this, at this point she said pinky side. Hashtag team daddy. Hashtag married to medicine. Now, of course, when it comes to the internet, nothing is ever gone. Like you might delete something, but nothing is ever really gone. And so her original tweet was captured and her original tweet didn't say pinky size. It didn't say pinky size. It said hashtag. And then she tweeted, man, F sweet tea, her. She doesn't have anything to come for, but her man does. Leave me alone. I will let have. And so the Neighborhood Talk posted all of this. They said, child, heavenly taken all her anger out on Dr. G, not a monster and pinky size. And then someone commented and said, I would sue for defamation. And Dr. Heavenly responded. Dr. Heavenly responded and she said, damn sure will be a counter as in a counter suit because Dr. Heavenly is saying that they've been defaming her as well. And someone also commented, if he not a monster, she playing with that man livelihood, she do way too effing much. And Dr. Heavenly said, F them, they are playing with mine. Don't throw rocks. Now I do have to say when Dr. Heavenly is calling him a monster, I'm not sure if she's referring to something we really don't know about, something with children, or if she's referring to his relationship with Sweet Tea, because some people feel like if you're in an age gap relationship and the gap is enough to where you could have parented your partner, some people use that word to refer to that. So I don't know if that's what Dr. Heavenly is saying. But in any case, Dr. G is back on the show with another woman, another woman that he could have literally fathered. So you guys, let's get into the fashion of it all. Let's leave that conversation alone. Let us get into the fashion at the Married to Medicine reunion. I love this floral look. I love that they did a theme. I love that the theme was floral. I love the veranda, the pergola, whatever it is in the background. I love it. I just love this whole vibe. I love this garden picnic vibe. I love it, love it, love it. And so let's take a look at each of their looks one by one. Let's start with Miss Phaedra. And in this, I do want to talk about their, um, their look as well as their hair and makeup. Because with Phaedra, we can see two different things going on. We can see her look is amazing. Her look is amazing, but the hair is less than stellar. Is that a nice way to say it? It's less than stellar. The hair is just too flat for me. But Chanel Ayan from Real Housewives of Dubai tweeted about the dress. Now, keep in mind, when they were at BravoCon, 
Someone asked Chanel Ayan who has the least style on the stage and she said Phaedra. So Phaedra showed up to the reunion with a dress that Chanel Ayan had worn in the past. Phaedra wore this dress on purpose to troll Chanel Ayan. This dress was worn purposely and it was worn well. So Chanel Ayan tweeted, wow, looked very quinceanera. I love that you were inspired. They say imitation is the highest form of flattery. You look fabulous. And so Phaedra Parks, when the Shade Room reposted it, she commented on the Shade Room and said, thanks Shade Room, Chanel Ayan. Please have several seats and make sure one is in the front row of an English 101 class. Now, Heavenly looks amazing. I want to say this might have been the best we've seen Heavenly look at a reunion. And one of the keys when you do dresses like this, like these type of see-through dresses with the illusion mesh, one of the keys is having the mesh match your skin tone. Heavenly is doing that. The mesh matches her skin tone, number one. And the second key, her undergarments are not visible. So Heavenly is really doing it with this look. And someone tweeted and said, your hair and dress is everything. Best dress. I don't know who styled this whole look, but whoever it is, keep them. And Heavenly responded, thanks. I really like this dress. I helped design it with Brides by Nona. So she helped design her reunion dress. Next, we have Toya's dress. Now, Toya's dress gives me like mad, mad hat or mad tea party, whatever you call it. But it definitely gives you like couture, like she is going for it. She's going overboard and she's going for it with the dress and the petticoat, like the exaggerated petticoat and the shoes and everything. I love it. And I feel like it's a whole couture version of Dr. Simone's dress. Dr. Simone wore a Sunday school dress to the reunion. This is Sunday school. This is a Sunday school dress that Dr. Simone wore to the Married to Medicine reunion. And she does this often. I feel like my personal theory, I feel like Dr. Simone is afraid to be sexy. I feel like she's afraid to show her curves. I feel like she's afraid to be sexy and her wardrobe shows it. And even Dr. Jackie, with all she has going on, a lot of times when you look at Dr. Jackie on social media, she will dress sexy. This dress is not necessarily sexy. I don't love it. But when I see Dr. Jackie on social media, she does dress sexy in other outfits, just not this one. I like Sweet Tea's dress. I just feel like the bottom is weird. Because I feel like the bottom of a dress should flow. Like it should be a train. Like it should flow if it's going to be long. And I feel like those big organza flowers at the bottom of it are weird. But other than that, I like what Sweet Tea was doing. And I do have to say, I think Sweet Tea is beautiful. I feel like Sweet Tea is a beautiful woman. I feel like she has a beautiful face. One of my favorite dresses, actually, though, was Dr. Alicia. I love Dr. Alicia's dress. I loved it. I love the floral appliques. I love the bottom, how the bottom flows. But the one thing I don't like is what I said I do like about Dr. Heavenly's dress. You see how Dr. Heavenly's sheer fabric matches her skin tone, but Dr. Alicia's doesn't? I feel like she should have had her dress dyed or whatever you need to do. Like choose a different fabric that matches your skin tone. This light fabric gives ice skaters. It gives ice skater. It does not work for black women with a rich skin tone. But I want you guys to imagine if she had a mesh that matched her skin tone. If the mesh on this dress matched her skin tone, you would really see this is an amazing look. And last but not least, we have Quad. And y'all know Quad got body. Quad has an amazing body. But this dress, in my opinion, does not show it off. I don't love the hair color and something about the dress I feel like doesn't flatter quad and I almost feel like if it was longer like if it went down to her knee and kind of showed her shape a little bit more and then had an open leg I feel like it might have been more beautiful but when I look at the cast like all together when I look at the cast the person who stands out the most like best dress to me is Phaedra other than the hair best dress is Phaedra Phaedra's dress with like Toya's hair would have been amazing. It would have been amazing. But leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the reunion looks. And let me know what you think of Dr. Heavily, Dentist the Menace, and Sweet Tea going back and forth on social media. Leave a comment. Share your thoughts. Do you agree with Dr. Heavily or do you agree with Sweet Tea? As always, thanks for watching.